This is the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, keeping you informed about the happenings in Annapolis and the area. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and of course, local weather. The Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Thursday, August 29th, 2019. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Following up on yesterday's announcement by the Maryland Transportation Authority about the four choices for the new Bay Bridge span, Governor Larry Hogan has chimed in and issued a statement yesterday saying that building a third span at the existing bridge site is the only option he will accept. In the statement, Hogan said, There is only one option I will ever accept adding a third span to our existing Bay Bridge. While the federal process requires multiple proposals, the data is indisputable. This option would maximize congestion relief and minimize environmental impact. Now, the choices that were put forth by the Maryland Transportation Authority were a crossing from Pasadena in the area of Downs Park, in Annapolis at Sandy Point State Park, and Edgewater, which would have been down near the Beverly Triton Park. They did offer a fourth choice of do nothing. As expected and rightfully so, County Executive Stuart Pittman was opposed to all four of those choices. Summer has ended early for the people that love the Truxton Park Pool in Annapolis. Yesterday afternoon, they closed the pool unexpectedly, citing pump and mechanical malfunctions and other unforeseen circumstances. In a statement, Annapolis Recreation and Parks Director Archie Trader said, We regret that we have to close the pool earlier than planned. Thank you for your support during the last season at the existing pool. We hope to see you in 2020 to enjoy a new Truxton Park Pool. Now, the old pool was slated to be shut down on Labor Day 2019, so it's only about a week, and it has been in service for more than 40 years. Trader did add that the mechanical problems were too significant to repair, especially in light of the closure reconstruction that is set to begin in mid-September. Speaking of that new construction, the community is invited to attend the groundbreaking ceremony on Tuesday, September 10th at 10 a.m. for the new Truxton Park Pool. That pool is set to open in May of 2020 at Memorial Day. It is a $4 million project, and it will replace the old pool with an outdoor pool complex in its place. That complex will have a 26-yard, six-lane lap pool, a family leisure pool, a splash pad, a snack bar, and shaded patio areas. The city is funding that off of the sale of the Eisenhower Golf Course back in 2016 to Anne Arundel County. Hey, we've told you time and time again, never take guns on planes and in airports. Well, here's something else you probably shouldn't be bringing into the airport. Honey from Jamaica. Days after Christmas of last year, Leon Houghton of Bowie flew back to the U.S. from Jamaica, and he had three jars of honey that he had purchased at a roadside stand. Going through Customs and Border Protection, they searched his bag at BWI and said the honey he was carrying tested positive for drugs. The charging documents say that the 46-year-old man told officers he had purchased the honey on the side of the road in Jamaica, but officers suspected that it was liquid methamphetamine. The bottles did test positive for methamphetamine in a field test. He was arrested and sent to the county jail and held for 82 days. He was charged with importing a controlled substance, possession with intent to distribute a controlled substance. And then in March, when a laboratory test performed in Georgia found no signs of drugs, the charges were dropped. Houghton says that he lost his insurance, that his credit was destroyed, that he has lost two jobs while being held by mistake. Now, here's something that's a little bit weird. The Anne Arundel County State's Attorney's Office says that Houghton had an ICE detainer, and that prevented him from being released any earlier. However, a spokeswoman with ICE said, yeah, no detainer was ever issued for Houghton. So somebody's not telling him the truth there. Terry Morris, who's Houghton's attorney, said, yeah, there are lawsuits going to be coming soon. There will be lawsuits imminent. And I'm usually not one to encourage lawsuits. This one doesn't seem too frivolous. Losing three months of your life based on a flawed field test, that's just crazy. Hey, following up on a story we did a couple months ago, Queen Anne's County commissioners actually have unanimously passed an ordinance that prohibits the release of non-biodegradable helium balloons into the air. This is the balloon releases that you see for memorials, for birthdays, for weddings, and things like that. And those who deliberately violate that ordinance can be fined up to $250. The director of the Queen Anne's Conservation Association, Jay Falstad, said that the balloons pose an environmental threat. They get stuck in trees. They get stuck in the Chesapeake Bay and even in some offshore clusters in the Atlantic Ocean. 
My guess is that Anne Arundel County may be following suit on this one pretty soon. All right, that is about it for the top news today. Please make sure you're checking out ionanapolis.net throughout the day because we do update it throughout the day. Click on that first link in our show notes and find out all the different ways that you can connect with us and give us a recommendation or a review if you are any place where you can do that. And of course, let your friends and family and coworkers know about us. It is Thursday. We have Trevor with your Annapolis Makerspace Maker Minutes. And as we have every single day of the week, George Young with your local DMV weather forecast coming up in just one minute. September 28th, the second annual Twist and Stout Festival at Quiet Waters Park along the shores of the South River. Twist and Stout, a Maryland wine, craft, beer, food, and arts festival presented by the Anne Arundel County Department of Recreation and Parks along with the Maryland Wineries Association. Sample dozens of craft beers and Maryland wines. There's music all day starring the Groove Spot Band along with the Naptown Brass Band and Vertigo Red. Watch the plenty air painters and shop dozens of artisans crafters and food trucks tickets are on sale now at twistandstout.org that's t-w-i-s-t-a-n-d-s-t-o-u-t dot org september 28th twist and stout at quiet waters park noon till six tickets at twistandstout.org going out you need the most up-to-date local weather Here's George Young from DMV Weather in Annapolis with today's forecast. Hey everyone, this is George with DMV Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Thursday, August 29th. Look for tons of sunshine today following yesterday's clouds and a few scattered evening showers, with highs this afternoon in the 79 to 86 degree range. More of the same tomorrow with highs 82 to 89 degrees, followed by even more sunshine to kick off the weekend on Saturday, with highs again in the 80s. From there, the expectation is for a small chance of p.m. showers and storms both Sunday and Monday with highs in the 80s before more high pressure moves in Tuesday for the start of most schools across the region. And looking ahead to later next week, all eyes are on Hurricane Dorian as it makes its way toward an expected landfall late Sunday or Monday somewhere on the Florida East Coast, which we'll have to keep an eye on from here as its ultimate path could possibly bring its remnants close enough to the area to deliver some late week rain. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DMV Weather. Make it a great day out there and be sure to get our free app on all of your devices by searching for DC MDVA Weather in the Apple or Google App Stores. And also follow us on Facebook and Twitter and on our website at dmvweather.com so you can always stay weather informed. Suicide prevention starts with everyday heroes like you. Join us Saturday, September 21st at the Navy Marine Corps Stadium in Annapolis as we walk to fight suicide. Be a part of the movement turning hope into action. Funds raised will benefit the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Register today at AFSP.org slash Annapolis. Together, we can help stop suicide. Go to AFSP.org slash Annapolis. Every week, makers, crafters, and educators hold events all over the area. Highlighting some of those, here's our Makers Minute, brought to you by Annapolis Makerspace. Hey, this is Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. On Saturday at the Beverly Triton Nature Park, they're having a moth prowl. Take a look at the mysterious world of moths. While exploring Beverly Triton after dark, moths are important pollinators and way more beautiful than you may have previously thought. Did you know that there are over 11,000 species of moths in the U.S. alone? More than all the birds and animal species in North America combined. On Tuesday at the William Pekka House, they're doing a sip and paint in the garden. Unleash your inner artist in this beautiful setting, creating a special fall welcome canvas painting while enjoying a glass of autumn sangria. No painting experience is necessary and everything is included. On Wednesday at the Villa Flores restaurant in Glen Burnie, artist Jen Moslin and the crew of Maryland Craft Parties are having a Hocus Pocus paint night. Enjoy dinner and appetizers before painting and happy hour during the duration of the event. Your ticket includes apron, instruction, and art materials. Also on Wednesday, drop on by the Muse Paint Bar at the Annapolis Town Center for paint night. Enjoy light fare, beer, wine, soft drinks, and the first round is on them. Painting supplies and instruction are provided, and there will also be a raffle for a chance to win pieces from local artisans. You also might want to check out Kittens and Cups on Defense Highway, Annapolis' only cat cafe. They've been doing a lot of really cute craft days that include painting and sewing small projects, as well as time with their cute furry friends. And don't forget that Sunday is September's first Sunday Arts Festival in Annapolis. On Wednesday at Ray of Light Studio, they're doing the first of their weeknights in watercolor, starting on Wednesday and continuing for three weeks. 
Learn everything you need to know about watercolor. A true beginner's class where they'll break it all down and explain both the materials and the process of watercolor. You learn how to layer paint, glaze, use white space, and make skin tones. All materials are included. At Maggiano's Little Italy at Annapolis Mall, on Saturday they're doing a kids making pizza. Bring your little sous chef to Maggiano's in Annapolis to work with their chefs to learn how to make their own pizza. Kids will receive their own chef's hat and apron to use and take home with them. Class is preceded by a buffet-style breakfast and parents can enjoy mimosas and Bloody Marys as well. At Art Farm in Annapolis this week, tonight check out their Fearless Girls Photo Show 2019. With three camps under their belts this summer, there's some great work from the talented roster of fearless photographers to share with the community. And at Clay Baker's in Annapolis, on Sunday and Monday, they're doing a family glass fusing class making fused glass seahorses. And next week at the Pongo's Learning Lab and Coder Kids Club in Crofton, on Tuesday through Friday, they're doing another summer camp, skipping Monday because of the holiday. Pongo's will be having their Kinder Steam Camp for kids starting kindergarten this year. Kids can come for one or more days, either morning or afternoon sessions, or both, and they'll enjoy fun, age-appropriate activities in science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. At the Paduxent Lapidary Guild on Saturday, they're having a silversmithing class, making silver-lined rings, make a silver-lined wideband ring, and work on jeweler's saw skills, hammering and stamping techniques, Techniques, as well as finishing techniques. And this week at Annapolis Makerspace, on Tuesday is our monthly Autodesk Fusion 360 3D Design Workshop, Wednesdays is our Woodworking Open Nights, and Thursdays is our Electronics Open Night. And you can catch me up there tonight and every Thursday night for Electronics Night, and you can find links to all of these events at the Annapolis Makerspace website at makeannapolis.org. And whether you're making art, software, sawdust, or just a mess, chances are you're already a maker. This has been Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. Have you ever been to the Annapolis Mall when it opens for the day? Maybe you've noticed the line of folks waiting to get into the Apple Store. As you may know, I'm a Mac user, and today's episode of the Daily News Brief, in fact, all of the episodes of the Daily News Brief have been produced right here on my Mac computer. What you might not know about is MacMedics. They were founded here in Annapolis in 1989, and they are an Apple-authorized premium service provider, the only one in the Baltimore, Annapolis, D.C. area. And what that means to you is that they repair all Apple devices, including the iPhone screens and batteries, all without an appointment. And most repairs are done the same day, usually within two hours. They also sell everything except the iPhone and the watch for the same price as Apple. I don't know why you would go anywhere else. Give them a call at 410-757-MACS, or if you're not into the whole letter thing, 410-757-6227. Stop by their retail store in Severna Park on Benfield Road, or their service center in Lanham, right off of Route 50. Or you can always check them out online at macmedics.com. I'll tell you, they've saved me quite a few times, and I know they can save you. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis. And also tell them about our website, ionanapolis.net, where you can find even more information. This podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 7 a.m., keeping you informed with the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. And take a moment to listen to our other podcast, The Maryland Crabs, released every Thursday at noon.